What is up you guys, it's Patrick here. It's almost 2020 and there are a lot of outdated reviews on Swagbucks. So you know what, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna go over my personal earnings on Swagbucks. Which nobody does. To help you understand what is working and what is not working. Think about it, even getting just an extra $10 per month is gonna equate to an extra $120 a year. I'm pretty sure if you watch till the very end, you will learn a new source of income. So all I ask for you is to smash that like button, comment below to help my new channel get off the ground. And with all that said, let's get into it. So if you don't know what Swagbucks is, it's the biggest and most well-known get paid to website. And basically what a get paid to website is, is just a site with a bunch of different tasks you could do to get paid. And I'm going to discuss all the different ways you could get paid on this site. If you have not signed up yet, I will leave a link in the description below with a $3 bonus to this site. It's really simple, so go take advantage of that. Now I will show you my personal earnings on the site. Alright, to see my personal earnings, we're going to go into the activity tab. Right away you can see I have earned a total of 83,143 swag bucks over my lifetime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all my activities one by one, show you which ones are working for me, which ones aren't, and let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look into is answers, aka surveys. Now. Surveys on Swagbucks were never my friend. I have a lot of better websites. As you can see, I've only earned 538 Swagbucks with surveys. I recently tried to see if maybe they've changed and did some surveys and tried to do some surveys, but as you can see, all of them were disqualified. However, I do have two tips on this. One, there are these incentive surveys which will pay you regardless of whether you disqualify or complete the survey so I always do those and I'm not saying you should but you could answer in such ways where it will guarantee you get disqualified so and my second tip is these high paying surveys that pay anywhere from 30 to 60 dollars and take around an hour and I can't seem to get qualified for these surveys I also get disqualified but you might be the person they're looking for because I see a lot of people getting qualified for these surveys on the Swagbucks subreddit. So my final verdict on surveys on Swagbucks is a big thumbs down with a little asterisk if you could actually qualify for those high paying surveys. Alright next we're going to look at bonus SB and I have earned a whopping 104 Swagbucks but you know it's not that bad because this stuff's really easy. It's daily polls, swag codes you could find under social media pages, and completing your daily to-do list. Very simple stuff. If you manage to make this a daily habit, you could earn a few extra bucks every month. Overall, I'd give this section a thumbs up because it's really simple to do and I don't really see other get paid to websites do it. Next, we're going to look at Discover, and okay, this is the bread and butter of swag bucks. I have earned a total of 19,000 swag bucks. That's what it says, but another 15,000 went in another tab. For some reason, it was still a Discover offer. So somewhere around three to $100 have been earned from Discover offers, and I think it's best to show you by actually going on those offers. So I'm just on the front page, and I'm scrolling down. And here are the Discover offers. So there's these money maker offers like this one. You could buy this LifeLock, I think, identity theft protection for $9. And you will get 8,000 swag bucks, also known as $80 back. So that's a clear money maker. There's these delivery ones. It says that if you do one delivery within the first 30 days, you'll earn $75 bonus, which is awesome. There's some apps you could download which will pay you out. Now you might be thinking, how is this possible? And it's possible because companies want your business. They're willing to pay you money to try out their product. That's what they're willing to do. And you know what? You could take advantage of that and earn some extra cash. So I'm just gonna show you some different ones because I showed you some apps and the delivery. There's game offers like on iOS and Android. There's some apps where 
for this instance you get to level 18 they'll pay you $24 so that's pretty cool I mean if you're younger if you're a teen and you don't have a credit card yet or you just don't want to order something you could do one of these app offers there's a dog offer for a $5 box and uh, you'll get a $40 reward so you get the gist of discover offers and honestly this is the best part of swag bucks for me next we have play and boy oh boy <laughs> I earned a whopping two swag bucks aka two cents and basically what play is it's just three flash games you could play and they're really stupid and a waste of time you might or might not get swag bucks from playing that but just don't do it it's a waste of time in my opinion moving on we have search and this is awesome I love this feature this is a really cool feature sometimes I'll just be on swag bucks and I'm like something pops in my head so I just search it right away in swag bucks and I'll randomly be awarded. As you can see, I got five swag bucks, six swag bucks, 26, 15. So it's a really cool feature and big thumbs up, cool feature, I approve. So next we're gonna look into shop. And if you're still watching, I'm very excited to tell you I have a good tip. As you can see, I've been doing these coupon.com offers. I try to do them as often as possible because they are so easy and they pay out. You could get 50 cents a day with less than a minute of work. So let me show you how to do it. So the first step is just come up here to the search bar, type in coupon. The screen will load here and you just press print, earn, save. Once you're here, you can see you earn 25 per redeem coupon. We're not going to do that, but what we are going to do is you earn one swag bug for each coupon you print, and it's a max of 50 coupons. And just to be clear, you do, we're not actually going to be printing the coupons. What we're going to do is go down here, select clip all. The screen will pop out, 58 coupons, cool. I'll press print coupon. And once you get to your printing screen, you could just press cancel, and it will register as printed. And voila, you've just earned 50 cents. Now, if you do this every day, you'll kind of run out of coupons in a way. You won't be able to print 50. However, you'll still be able to print like 10, 13, 20, anywhere around there for the following days. And the coupons do restock every two weeks. Also, another part of shop is the cashback offers. And these are just cashback offers like on any other cashback site. We got 1% on eBay, 8% on Amazon. Uh, the cashback here is good, and I like using swag bucks for cashback because I know I'll be able to redeem my points easily. Next, I'm going to look at watch. So all watches are these automatic videos you could play on your computer, and they will reward you swag bucks. Personally, I don't do it. And from what people say on the subreddit, it's no longer worth doing it. It was worth doing it like three or four years ago. Now there's only maybe like one or two good offers, so that is watch. Next we're going to look into my referrals, and as you can see I've earned 32,848 swag bucks. You're probably wondering how I got all of these referrals, well, a month into swag bucks I had a pretty good experience. I made some money from those discover offers, and I wrote a short review on it on Reddit and posted it on a few subreddits and it got some traction, so that's how I got my referrals. So BX Cop completed a $4 offer and then he completed a $30 offer. So this guy earned some money. That's pretty cool. And then this pet guy's completing smaller offers. Okay, now we're on to reward store redemptions. And clearly this is not me earning money, but me redeeming my swag bucks. And I usually just go for the PayPal and Amazon gift cards. It's great that they have a PayPal feature because I'm basically just redeeming straight for cash, which is awesome. Uh, let me show you guys some of the other gift cards you could redeem. Uh, Swagbucks has any gift card you could imagine, so you shouldn't have problem finding what you like. I usually like to look at the sales gift cards. I like to buy the $25 Amazon gift card that's on sale, and it only costs 2200 Swagbucks, so it's $3 off for a $25 gift card. It's always worth it. All right, next we are going to look at swag stakes, and these are just the giveaways of swag bucks. I've wasted $11 on these giveaways, 
Yeah, I do not recommend these giveaways. Just be patient and you will withdraw your money. And last, but least, but not least, we have Swagbucks Live, and this is Swagbucks uh, Live Game Show app. Basically how the game show app works is if you answer all 10 questions right, you get a piece of the prize, and it's kind of cool. It was fun the first few days, but I wasn't winning, so I dropped out. All right, we got through all the different types of ways you could earn money on this site. There's one more feature that I did not mention that is pretty good, and that's the swaggo board here on the side. Now what a swaggo board is, is just like a bingo board where if you complete the squares, you'll get a small reward. Uh, right now is around Christmas time, so they're having these limited time swaggo boards. Usually they last a week. So usually if you're just using swagbucks normally, you'll be able to fill out a row with no problem and just redeem 45 cents, 50 cents, or even a dollar if that's what the bonus is. All right, with all that said, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you still haven't signed up for Swagbucks, my link is in the description. Take advantage of the $3 bonus. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see future content on my money-making routine. And that's all. Bye.